everybody. This is Noble Dracone back with Crypto 10X Podcast and my co-host. Barnaby, Barnaby Anderson, it's great to have you here uh, with us today. We've got a fantastic guest. We've got Mike from Dust. And when we find out about this Dust, you get to sprinkle on all your crypto activities in Telegram. Yeah, you'll be really excited. And, you know, Dust is amazing uh, protocol and uh, it's unique. So we're happy to have you and we're looking forward to talking to Mike. Glad to have you hey. on the show. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for having me on, guys. It's great. It's great to finally meet you guys. You know, we've talked a little bit on Telegram, so it's nice to put a name to a face or a face to a name. And, uh, and so it's always nice to have that sort of visual connection, right? It sure right. is. We have a so, pandemic. <laughs> I, right? Like, how many people do you actually get to see on a daily basis, too? So there's that, right? So, we'll just do a quick shout out to um, how we actually found you in the first place, Mike, and your Dust group um, from our mates over at BC Heroes, Travis and Joel. They, they, they were using them, you, you, having Dust in their Telegram, and we were like, wow, we can do the same thing in our Telegram groups. And so we were just super stoked to find you guys. And, and so it's kind of been a vision, I think, for many people across the internet for many years to gamify and reward people for their interactions. How do you do that? I mean, like... The simplest thing in the world is simply rewarding someone for typing a message, right? And and, the, and for us, there's a million messages out there that need rewarding. So it just was a no-brainer. No like, Curdy has been involved in this stuff for quite a while. Um, Morty's was kind of the original um, sort of way that we, he went with the dust token or the, the original chat mining, which is kind of his term, which is how he uh, describes what we do, essentially. And so that was all about incentivizing chatting and, and just getting users to want to type messages and, and be rewarded for that. Right. So he took that concept and brought it to dust and, and we used it as an in-game currency for uh, nifty wizards, which is another project that we're involved in. And it just kind of blew up from there. And, and it just really has really started to take uh, wind lately, which has been awesome because I mean, who doesn't want to earn crypto just for talking on telegram or discord or any other like eventually social media platform anywhere right when did, so, you, when did you launch it when did it, you just said it's just like what's the timeline how long has this been available i mean we're talking like late june sort of early july of last year kind of thing where dust finally actually took form um we talked about it a bit before and then and then morty's was a couple of years prior to that um but it, Morty's never really had kind of the full um, package going on that we kind of have now and that we're working towards getting uh, sort of getting that loop closed and, and giving users um, an opportunity to earn dust, but also to use dust to buy stuff, you know, and, and, and use dust in their everyday lives, right? So... And we're doing yeah. that by offering a chance for them to essentially purchase NFTs with it at the moment. Awesome. I know when we first came across uh, the idea of Dust, you know, there, it, you know, it's just amazing what happens. And, you know, we, we have to give full disclosure. We actually are staked. We're in Dust. We, you know, it's in our Telegram chat rooms. But at the same time, it's a little bit confusing because, you know, it's so simple really to earn. Nobody really understands that there's a correlation to other locations and, and marketplaces. So when you're selling the NFTs, where are the NFTs located and uh, what is the goal to expand that in your ecosystem? So right now, mostly we can just do drops uh, with Atomic. So we've done that um, quite a few times, but actually um, a new friend of ours, uh, well, actually an old friend of mine, but um, a friend of the project has been working on integrating dust and some other currencies into his market and that's waxdash.com so now any user can go and list any nft for dust essentially and and as can we so we're going to start putting out more stuff on that market as well 
What was that URL again? Wax. It's waxstash.com. And I can give you guys that um, in the chat later. But uh, it's actually pretty easy. And it's a pretty cool marketplace. Very innovative. Nice. Oh, you know, if you want, you can, if you, you, you can, I guess, add it to the screen, too. I don't know if you're in front of your computer or using your phone. But you can kind of share I'm on my website. phone. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. No worries. Uh, and so I guess the, the, the next phase is, okay, you have dust and accumulated. How does the staking mechanism work? And what do you got? What's your expectations of your staking partners? And then how do you drive, I guess, people to like, you know, announcements and drops and the like, like, are you guys still, where are you guys at on that? So explain a little bit about that, the staking and, and, and so interacting. as far as staking right now, like, um, essentially it's for operators. At the moment, um, we don't have a user reward program yet. That is in the near future. Uh, just needs some code. And we've got a bunch of um, stuff that's planned for that. Um, and I've also started to accumulate some NFTs for that as well. Little hint there. And, um, <laughs> and as far as staking goes, so essentially operators have to stake 150K to get their minds going. And that that's kind of gives us a bit. 150K. That's 150K. 150,000 dust. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, yeah, man. And we, 150K, I, man. <laughs> how easy was that to collect, Noble? I remember you looking at the mar markets going like, okay, there's no liquidity here. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of the deal. Like, <clears throat> so, uh, and, and it's, it's funny because like, you know, there's a lot of tokens potentially, but actually in circulation, there isn't. And it's only really what gets mined. And, and the dust team pretty much doesn't like, I don't even want to sell my dust, especially at the prices that are so low right now. I'd rather spend it on NFTs, you know? So, um, and I think a lot of the team feels that way as well. And I, I don't think you'll find a lot of wallets that are, that are selling. So, yeah, but, I, just, uh, I, I just went to, um, Alcor, that's the DEX, the decentralized exchange where you can buy and sell and trade dust and wax and a whole bunch of other uh, wax and EOS tokens. So I went there yep. yesterday to get another 150K of dust using wax to then stake for one of our other channels. So we've got a bunch of channels. King of Quotes is, um, play the main channel there for the chat. That's already getting, you go there and you just type away and you earn dust. The carousel world, you go there and you type away and you earn dust. We've got another one called Pop Quotes. And that's just pay people just sharing quotes for the for the fun of it, and that's going to be active this week. And so uh, it's cool. been running. so you have to, as I understand, you have to have a, a hundred at least a minimum of a hundred users in your Telegram channel. That's step one. Then you Correct. need to go to Alcor, the Alcor Dex Exchange, and buy one fifty k of dust, which is varying at the moment. But let's say roughly two thousand wax, but probably different by the time somebody listens to this. And then you stake it, and there's instructions. And then you guys spend about a week getting it all ready. And then you start, it's people chat and they earn this this free dust token for sending messages. Yeah, so essentially we just take all the information and then just plug that into the database and, and get, and, and essentially whitelist the mine so that it works, right? Yeah. That's kind of how yeah, that works. works. Cause you guys have a utility, right? I mean, when you guys when you look, come down to it, uh, your dust token really has a true utility. I mean, I. I, a lot of companies and a lot of tokens don't, you know, nobody can figure out why they have it or <laughs> what's the use or they're trying to come up with the use case. But you guys actually have a true use case for dust. So what's the future yeah, plan? Where do you grow for? Well, I mean, I like to see it used widely as a currency. And I think we're kind of on the way there with, um, with Waxdash, with NFTs. And um, hopefully we'll get some more liquidity on some different markets soon. Uh, we haven't really planned a lot around that, but uh so it's kind of just something that we're growing organically and we're not really too worried about like whether it's listed here or there or, you know, that'll come with time, especially, and, and we're more worried about getting that loop closed and, and getting it so that users are getting rewarded for holding it and they actually see a point in owning dust rather than just seeing it as a token that they just exchange for wax, right? Totally. Uh, one of the reasons we love getting guests on, on the Crypto 10X show is we, um, we're doing, me and Noble, we're, we're partners on a lot of crypto projects in the NFT space. And we just love to talk to people um, for, for a little selfish reason to help us improve our, our whole project. <laughs> make everything even better for the people we're bringing on board. And so, of um, course. because you, you're actually uh, 
we're already integrated with you guys. We love what you're doing. We're, we've got a whole new innovation that we're pushing out for the Kia Quotes. We've got a white paper coming out shortly with an incredible, you know, gaming engine um, with, from the guys over at EOS Nation coupled with a staking engine. And so we've got this awesome reward structure happening. And I'm just going to ask you uh, some questions about like, you know, I wonder how we could also incorporate the utility of dust into that because um, we've already got the dust working on the Telegram channel. But when we've yeah. got a whole gaming stake, uh, smart contract with a staking engine, I'd love to get some ideas from you, to be honest. I mean, we would love to include Dust in any kind of game or app or anything like that and, and incentivize users to to use that as well. And so I'm sure we could work out a deal where we could give you some tokens to distribute um, to your users. I mean, that's huge for us. Like, that's something that we kind of have dreamed about happening and we just haven't, ha haven't made it happen yet. So just to get into it, because I'm quite technical and I like, you know, working in this stuff and I just need my brain ticked a little bit more on this. So we've figured out how to, we're issuing a KOQ token on the WAX platform that people are going to be able to get soon. And actually, if you go over to the kingofquotesgame.com website, you can go there and actually register and still get some free KOQ. So that's going to be great. And people participate, cool. they're, they're, they're earning that. And then we've got the, K, the, the KOQ NFTs. Now, when people are playing with the NFTs, and using the, the KOQ token, uh, and then they're also staking them in a smart contract, how else could we layer? What's some ideas of how we could layer dust on these activities? Because it's clear that they, dust is earned when you chat in Telegram. How could they earn it playing the game and also staking? What's some ideas on the mechanics of that? I mean, I would think like you would want to reward users for actions, right? So if they're playing and they win something or they move to the next level or whatever the case like i actually haven't had a chance to look at king of quotes yet i need to do that um but just based on actions i think and then that's a kind of that's kind of our like mo anyways is what we do is is we reward users for chatting right and then set action so i think anytime you kind of have an action where you want to incentivize that it's an easy place to just throw a couple of dust in there and, and uh, make it but more like well. So you're saying that the program is really easy for integration when we say we want a gamification of a particular activity. So if we want people to you know, collect more quotes, dust can happen when they collect more quotes for the game even before they do the battle. It's kind of what I'm hearing. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. And then and then you could reward battles too, right? So yeah, so where does it my, my question really is um the actual generation of the dust itself. So like I get it that it's like data mining or dust mining that's happening in the Telegram when you're chatting. It's generating new dust. How could we augment or use that same sort of functionality for people playing the game? So instead of us having to go and, like, I'm trying to understand this 150K of dust that we've staked, is that what we're paying out? Where's the dust coming from? And if we're doing it in the game, where's it being generated from? These In this case, it probably would be from like a pool. So like we have a pool of tokens that we distribute essentially, right? And it's not like like the mining actually creates the tokens. The tokens are already there. We just distribute them, right? So essentially, they are sort of created because they're until then they're not released into the ecosystem, right? But we could do the same thing with King of Quotes. Is just kind of give you guys um, some dust for a pool or something like that, and then you guys can distribute it from there, right? Yeah. Does that mean that there's a, a an infinite number of dust? Like, have you already minted? Like, what's the what's the the tokenomics around the supply of dust? I think that the token, like the total supply, is somewhere around a trillion. And a lot of people, you know, kind of look at me really funny when I say that, and like it's a huge number. But the thing is, is that if you imagine someone getting rewarded for every single message typed in the entire planet then that trillion number starts to get really small really quickly. And we don't want to limit ourselves um, right away, especially because I mean, like we're literally like not even a year in at this point, you know? So for us to cap supply and to try and do some kind of tokenomics around that just doesn't really make sense for us at this time because we're kind of shooting ourselves in the foot before we even get started. Right. So, that's definitely some people's concerns. And, and I think we're gonna try and address those concerns as well by um, staking some of our tokens so that it doesn't look like we have the entire supply as well. Um, and, and by the rewards, I think people will really 
um, get into staking dust so that they can earn rewards. And I, I'm, I'm hoping anyways, that that's going to be pretty big. So now I'm, I'm curious, you know, the, the mechanism in which you're staking, you've built everything on the wax protocol. <clears throat> now that EOS is starting to expand out to NFTs, is there a potential for dust on EOS as well? Because, you know, they're the same kind of protocol. So ideally, like we would like to either mine dust or, or have it available on every chain, ideally. And, and I think that that's something that's not far off. Like, for example, like TLM right now, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Alien Worlds, but um, their token, Trillium, is actually currently residing on Ethereum as well as Wax. And they have a, a portal which moves it back and forth through an ESCO contract. So that's not something that's completely unheard of or or even technically impossible at this moment. It's, it's actually it's very like a, possible. It's like a, a yeah. bridge between. Exactly. So so essentially, like you, you take that concept further, and especially because it's already an EOS out of chain, mm -hmm. to move dust to EOS is not going to be that difficult. Mm -hmm. awesome. I mean, obviously, yeah. there's going to be technical challenges, but. Yeah, no, we're, we're doing the same language. We're doing the same thing with the KOQ token. We've got like um, one issuance of it on the Wax blockchain and another on the on the Ethereum. So it's an ERC twenty and a Wax, and we're going to have a bridge between both as well. So that's the same sort of thing. So you're going to, but it sounds like at the core of it, its real functionality is is on Wax. But then you'll be able to you'll be able to bridge it into other protocols, maybe more for trading and liquidity and awareness purposes. Getting on Uniswap is that a fair assessment? Yeah, and then maybe like for certain chains where it's feasible, we can actually mine it there too, right? So we could send it out from a pool over there on that network rather than users having to move it over or whatever the case may be. That that none of that's been decided yet. That's all kind of ideas at this point in time. But there's plenty of opportunity for that for sure. Well, I've, I, yeah. I think one thing that we're all concerned about is trying not to increase the issuance. So it would definitely, we want to have it be like an escrow contract or something where um, we're not just creating a bunch more dust essentially, because we already have, have that. I have seen some other protocols. Like I think, tell me from a moment, XRP has got something where you can basically, um, you can, oh, hang on, it's more like a, a transference. Like I think it's called Seed It. Isn't it called Seed It? There's another one that basically, there's, to, not you know, familiar. Oh, okay, interesting. I don't think you mine it through the conversations. I think it's more like something you can just transfer on a tweet, uh, something like that. Oh, um, so maybe look that one up. Um, and yeah, I, I will for sure. It's called Seed It, but but this one seems to be unique for the mining. No, like I said, yeah. You know, the, now one thing that I noticed early on, Blockchain Heroes did is that they allowed their cards to be burned in order to receive, or where the people receiving dust with the same protocol because I think they're using the whole, you know, burn a card and then you have potentially to get a new card or upgrade it or get dust. Were you guys integrated into that iteration as well? So what they did was they created a bunch of dust style NFTs that they then rewarded their users with um, for burning cards. Um, but that is something that we have talked about and is definitely an option is either burning cards to receive dust or or in some manner giving us the cards and then we pay them dust or something like that somewhere like between the two because one of the things is that if you burn an nft then it's gone right but if you keep it and you redistribute it then you can re imagine that purpose and you can incentivize someone else again right so there's kind of tons of different options there that we're playing with and i don't want to get too specific but um there's a few ideas that i've thrown out there that are, are pretty solid so in, in our minds anyways so just to cover up on the factors of the tokenomics and the, and the uh, issuance so you've actually pre-mined and minted like a trillion of the dust and most of them are in a holding account, like an escrow account that you guys are controlling. And then you have these liquidity pools that you've set up that basically are being paid out to people once their Telegram channel is connected. And then basically all the participants there get whitelisted with their WAX um, address, 
which then connects back to that specific liquidity pool just for that Telegram channel, and they get paid from that. And as new Telegram channels come on, you're providing them access to those liquidity pools, is that? So actually, all the tokens come from one place, and that's miners.dust. And okay. everything, so that's the pool, and it lives there. And we have lots of other pools, um, but that is the main mining pool. So any room that's getting incentivized has their tokens sent from there, essentially. Okay. And it used to be like straight from the Nifty Wizards contract uh, when we first started. So we're kind of gradually um, shifting everything over to the Dust account um, just because we didn't actually initially create the Dust account at first. It was all sort of based on Nifty Wizards. And Nifty Wizards was like the sole purpose for Dust initially. And then it was like, Kurt was like, hey, like this is bigger than just Nifty Wizards. Like we can do anything with Dust. And, and that was kind of the thing was like, like literally like moms talking about feeding their babies could earn dust. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, <laughs> that's kind of my high level, like, wow, that's really you know. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so the pipes are going, the pipes are connected from the Nifty Wizards account over to the dust, the dust miners pooled account. And then that's where the contract lives. Yes. Yeah. And then from there, the scopes, the pipes go out to each of the different telegram channels that people can apply to be connected to. Yeah. Correct. And it's essentially just a transfer. So we just script a transfer based on whether or not that miner has completed said action and is whitelisted kind of thing. And that mine is whitelisted too, right? So because one thing that we certainly don't want is people just throwing the dust bot in their room and then getting the ability to mine dust without our permission, right? Because we need to vet those groups and make sure that they're on point. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so scalability wise, because I have two questions. The first is um, scalability in that format has got to be like automated, I guess, or so, at some point, because it's really, you know, every telegram, frankly, in my opinion, should have the mining dust. You know, everyone out there is utilizing and communicating and the like. So what are your plans for scalability? And I'll follow up my next question. Um, so essentially, we've just been hitting up different mines, um, and, and I mean, people come to me. I mean, you guys came to me, right? I, sort of out of the blue. So, um, but you know, we're kind of right now. We're working on trying to expand into the um, Ethereum ecosystem a little bit more, um, just to try and sort of get our foot out of the EOSIO door, which we are fairly firmly entrenched in now. And um, and I think the next thing for us will be to start hitting up just random telegram groups out there and just try and get like real non crypto enthusiasts on board with us. And I think that that's really going to be huge, but it's also going to be extremely challenging because not only do you have to educate them about dust, but you have to educate them about crypto in general. And then you have to put two and two together to equal four, right? So so we're, we're going after the low hanging fruit right now, which is just trying to incentivize the traditional crypto community and have them get on board. And then it'll be easier for us to, in the long run, scale that out to bigger groups. And then essentially like we wanna be on Discord. We're still working out some of the, um, little niceties of actually making that happen. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we'd, we'd love to be on Facebooks one day. We'd love to be on Twitter one day. We'd love to, like any social media platform that anyone is using or or even text messages, like if we could go that far essentially. Yeah. But like, like eventually, like it would be rad to just be able to incentivize every message on this planet with dust. And I, I really don't see why that's not possible. It's just a lot of work getting there. Sure, but I mean, that's that's what these projects are for. We take our time, we grow. I guess the second question I have for you is, what is the plan for Nifty Wizards now as a company? You know, you had one intent initially, and now you guys evolved where you guys have got a big, hairy, audacious goal. You're bigger than, than life and how your ambition is. What's the story with Nifty Wizards as a company? Are you guys going to still be putting out NFTs? Is your goal to support me and create your own exchange? Where does the Nifty Wizards now fit in that narrative? So Nifty Wizards, like, one of the things that we identified uh, recently was that we print a lot of NFTs and people love that. But at the same time, some of those NFTs don't have utility yet. And our game prides itself on providing utility for every single NFT that we produce. 
So one of our focuses now, especially, is to try and give everything that's in our catalog a utility. And then we can kind of move out and start to issue new items or issue rare items or do sorts of all fun stuff with new NFT products, right? But the other thing that we're doing is we're growing the community. So we're trying to get more people on board. We're trying to get more people helping. We're trying to incentivize more people to help us that have been helping us. Um, so it's kind of a process. Like, I mean, it's funny because Nifty Wizards, like literally when I started there with Kurt, it was Kurt and me and a couple of other guys in a room with like a key. And we just were talking about this, all this amazing stuff that we could do with this technology. But like, there was literally nothing there. There was no bots. There was nothing like, and then, and then there was bots. And then the day where it really clicked for me was the day when Kurt forged me an item directly from telegram to my wallet and then it was just like wow this is on like like i've never seen that happen before like an i like an nft being minted essentially it's directly from telegram is pretty amazing in my hey, books well, right are you the, mike are you saying can we be integrated with you on that level where basically can we literally mine an nft through people's conversations in telegram with dust so that is definitely one of the reward things that we've kind of been tossing around. And, and Kurt actually already um, had a project like that with uh, Bitcoin Origins called Rebel Rabbits. And uh, essentially what Rebel Rabbits did was it, it incentivized each X number of message. So each time somebody typed that number of message, they got sent a rabbit, right? So that also is a possibility there's so many possibilities barnaby it's just like it's all yeah, about like essentially what what we have time to code right and, and we're oh, and nice. we're working on getting that so that that's also not an issue is working on because mainly like kate kurt's been our number one guy right and he's extremely busy <laughs> so. that, that functionality is not not there yet but just back to what you were saying before about the issuing of um of assets and things well we were also thrilled with um the, the opportunity to actually give you guys um a special you know quotes selection of nfts so that hasn't happened yet but we're, we're waiting for that we're, we're looking forward to basically i gave you the uh the whole the spreadsheet and the modeling of how those nfts can be minted just a unique number of them so is that is that in queue is that sort of is that on the on the is that how things are going over there where you're minting these because we our ones have got special utility in the game we're releasing and we're looking forward to giving that to the oh the interesting interesting so i didn't know that fact actually um <laughs> but that's pretty cool so yeah so those essentially are dust partner nfts right and what we do with that is we allow anyone who has a stake, um, who has acc accrued their own stake and um, stick to their room and got their mind going to um, produce a partner NFT. And what the partner NFT does, and, and actually the rooms also earn 50% of the profits, which is nice in perpetuity. And what that partner NFT does is it allows you a 50% chance of earning between two and five dust instead of just one dust per message. Right. And then the more of those NFTs that you have, the better your chances algorithmically of earning even like earning that two to five dust essentially. So it'll be 40% or then 30% or then, right. So the point where like I have so many of these things now that I pretty much get between three and five dust and it's mostly four or five dust like every month. Wow. So I've just got to say, Mike, so people are looking forward to getting these because, you know, I designed up the co-branding on the cards with the dust and when, when do you think they could come out for people? Where people are <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have such a queue, but uh, I'm going to try and get you guys, like I would say within the next month, you guys will, you guys will be on board. We've got some for um, Carousel Worlds and for King of Quotes, both there in the queue. So just, you know, that'd be great to yeah. get those out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, we'll put a priority a rush on your guys's too. So there you go. I guess I have for you guys is, you know, you guys have a have a great product. I like it. Everyone enjoys it. Everyone is a part of it, uh, and I like where things are going. What is it that you guys need from us to help you guys, right? Because you're you're right. You guys started out, and you guys have a small team. You guys are developing and programming. What do you need from mining operators like us to do to kind of help facilitate and get you guys either more exposure, more words, more, like what do we need to do? 
because you guys have a great option. Well, I mean, this helps a lot, right? <laughs> this is this is huge, like great promotion, right? And awesome. and I also have my own show, NFT Hype, which I uh, leverage to get people on there and talk about that. And you know, we're gonna have Kurt on next week, and and uh, the boys over at Blockchain Heroes have been amazing because they also have two shows and they've done a bunch of stuff for us too. Um, but I don't know, like essentially just having your users mine it and getting word of mouth out there is great. And then any sort of leads that you can throw at us with people that might be interested would also be amazing. Well, by the sounds of it, Mike, because I'm, I'm now, my mind's really racing about how we can literally build you into the new offering of our KAQ token and the white paper. I'd love to get a copy of that over to you. I'm going to put that in and show that to you so you can see that everybody we're bringing on board, let's get them more dust, hey? Absolutely. Cool. No, no, I love, I, it. I love it. It's a great project, Mike. Thanks for coming on today. Thanks for spending time with us. Come on again when you guys do your next big announcement. And awesome. Uh, I guess the biggest thing too is when you guys get to the next phase and you got we incorporate you guys. Hopefully, you guys will still call, take our calls, and be on the show. Oh, so they, of course, yeah. bro. Of course. I got. I love. I'm so guilty. I love like like this is. I'll do this all day long and like, you want to pay me to do this? Great. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, but then all the people in the background are going, Hey, is there a bunch of stuff that you need to manage right now? What are you doing on that show? Like, <laughs> so, so uh, that's my big thing is I'm working on now delegating so that I can do more stuff like this and more high level management stuff. Right. So cool. just, just wrapping up the last question I got, like, it's so interesting. Everything you're doing is fantastic. How many, how many telegram channels do you have right now on board and how many uses roughly are already integrated? and what's the game plan like what are you seeing the growth just quickly on some stats we have like over a hundred mines and we've actually turfed a few over time and, and sort of gone and back and forth on that because there's been you know we want to have good quality mines so if we have issues with them then we need to deal with that but um as far as users go like we have over three thousand wallets that hold uh dust on a regular basis and and, wow. a, and a fairly significant amount of dust usually too. So um, there's quite a bit of t uptake, which I mean, if you consider like we haven't been around for that long and we just give our token out for free, nobody's, you know, out there promoting it or, or that kind of thing. It's it's a pretty good uptake, right? So on, on that, just quickly for people wrapping up, like what are some good Telegram channels? That's the only place you can go earn dust right now is on Telegram. Where do you recommend people go? to get dust? Well, I mean, the dust, the dust channel is a great start because, you know, that's where we live and we have all our knowledge there and you can kind of go there and check it out, get synced up, get some help with it, talk to other dust enthusiasts. Um, you guys, you know, King of Quotes, uh, Carousel World, uh, Blockchain Heroes, um, Alien Worlds chat. There's quite a few, like, we try not to talk about all the chats that have it because we don't want necessarily everyone to know everything because um, <laughs> there's sort of a layer of, of uh, secrecy there but uh, and, and more just for our own protection. But um, yeah, it's kind of like it's, it's everywhere. I mean, if, you, if you're looking for it, most often you'll find it. And if you don't, then tell them that they should have it and come see so it. So there's not actually a directory. You're not you're not printing a directory of here's where you go to get dust. You're not doing that. No. Awesome. Not yet. Well, I'm be part we, of the club. <laughs> at some point we will, but but we're not quite there yet. So all right. Thanks. Well, you, yeah, great. thanks a lot, Mike. We appreciate your time today. Get back to work. Don't want anybody yelling at you. I'm sure Kurt will be upset. <laughs> No, so Kurt's I, dope because like, he didn't do this interview. I did. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike, enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. It was awesome. Thanks, Mike. Have a great day. Everybody, get some dust. It's awesome. <laughs>